Once upon a time there was a girl named Her. She lived far, far away. The only pleasure she had was to feed pigeons in the uh, park. Right. Uh, it's fine, I guess. What are some of you? No, I don't, I'm not too political. Well, I, I don't know. Who, who are you guys? What is this for? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not too... I don't watch Nana Fate. No. I'm not involved in any The only pleasure she had was to feed pigeons in the park. <laughs> I've been in this city 11 months now. You are the first person I've spoken to. Well, that's spoken to me. I feel like I've just been released from a convent. From a goddamn convent! I'm not laughing at you. I'm, I'm a young girl, and, and I'm pretty, and nobody ever speaks to me. Not even ask directions. And you're the funniest man that I've ever met. And, and I thank you. I thank you in all the languages that there are. Thank you for speaking to me. <laughs> and that's how we met two Sundays ago. And we walk in the park. This is the third Sunday we met now. And we talk about the future. It's all. And there are orange and blue and green, yellow leaves all over the ground. And, and when we walk, our feet make a scuffling noise like this. Get home, my socks have blue and orange and green and yellow leaf threads in the stuff in the wool. No, wait. His socks and his home. I, I wear nylons. I have my own apartment. He doesn't know where I live and I don't know where he lives. He has his life and I have mine. Except for Sunday. Today we walk along and we talk about the future. We never mention the past. Well, now wait. Just because we don't talk about the past, don't get any idea I'm any slut or anything. I'm just an Ohio girl. O H. Ten. We only talk about the past when we have a past. Oh, I must remember not to wear this sweater any more Sundays. I think she still thinks I'm a mother. I spent all last Monday picking these long shreds of dead grass out of the back of my sweater with a silver tweezer. <laughs> oh, I don't care if he's a mugger or not. I still won't take any chances, no serene, like meeting him at the park during the night or, or when there's nobody around. But I still like him very much. He's like, he's an odd duck. He's and a very funny person, and he tells the funniest of stories. Hey, tell me a funny story. They're not funny stories. They're true. <laughs> Listen to this one. We're in a zoo. We're near a polar bear cage. Now, I have never seen a polar bear before. Look. Kill you, listen, 13 years ago, my sister Lucy was a top debutante. Yes, and after coming up part, the hotel plaza back there, my sister Lucy had two escorts broke this part of the suit. And my sister Lucy took her over to this cage, this very cage. This is your devil before I stopped you. Okay. And this polar bear. Wait, listen, this one is a little too familiar. But, but the one, the polar bear 10 years ago, bit my sister Lucy off right the breast. Oh my god. Yeah, we heard a scream over to the plaza, and all the doctors came, and we all, leave, all had to leave the coming out party. And I was very young, but well, 18. Well, what'd they do? Well, 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 well my parents shrieked, do something, do something, do something! And, and all the doctors and ambulance was came, had the pulls, um, all the polar bears and all, and, and they quickly sewed it back on, you know, modern medicine. Well, then like what'd that. they do? Well, 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 my, my sister Lucy never went to another coming out party. Okay, I can see why not. Yeah, because because she had developed enormous amounts of, well, 
all of her body, she developed enormous white polar bear hair for a well, couple who had to ship it to Alaska. On. But you, you, you come from Ohio, you come from a, a nice little family. You don't understand the weirdness and, and grief that people can spring from. You are the oddest duck. Pull you, pull you to come on, get over here. Let's talk about what No. We said we would just walk and talk about the future. No, no, no. Bile! Like you, when you came to the past, 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 you came to the past. Well, it won't fall out. And if you keep on talking like that, I'll go home. And I'll wash it. And I'll massage it. And I'll make sure, damn good and sure, that it doesn't fall out. So come on, let's just walk and, and sing. You know, people need to stick to, stick to the politics. <laughs> they know what he wanted. You know, the guy just he wants this way, he's that way. Uh, yeah. I'm going to America. They don't know what they want. Exactly. Man of faith? Uh, I think so, yeah. If he, he stands his ground on things, yeah. Ah. Nah, economics. Everything's about money. Thank you. Thank you. You knelt and you fed little pigeons with pieces of bread. Is this the last time I'm Those pigeons could be. Why are you singing so loud? These people are staring at you. Ill. Why but are you since we must me? part, please feed the pigeon that cries in my heart. The pigeon that cries in my heart. Ha, 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 ha. Look, I can't marry you. I can't see you more during the week. But, but I owe you something at least for all the music. I mean, maybe we can meet a few times during the year. You know, bump to each other. Do you like that song? I don't care about the song. You know who sang that song? I don't song? give a damn who sang the song. Mario Lanza. Right after he sang, he grew very fat and died. And a few months later, his wife, she took drugs, she died also. Now that is true, you can read that in the newspaper. So it's all up. You know what my job is, I've never told you. I'm a senior our person for blind dogs, and it's very ironic because you've made me see so many things. To hear the music and the turnstiles rush out. Maybe it's just as well. And I'm made you see that. The only pleasure she had was to feed pigeons in the park. Was to feed pigeons in the park. Pigeons. I like you. I'd like to be married to you. I see people though. People, people like her over there. This incredibly fat woman pushing this bright blue perambulator with the dog on the leash. And I say, what's the use of marriage anyway? It obviously didn't make her happy. What, what, what incredibly fat woman? Well, you can't see her now. She just passed behind a rock. But it's a good in marriage. Oh, I mean, I'm young. I'm pretty. I don't need anybody. What, the, what are you doing? That woman. What, what did you say she was pushing again? A bright blue perambulator with a dog on a leash and two. What, what, what did she say she had on a leash again? A, it's a Great Dane. And, and, and looked, it just bumped its head up against a tree and it fell down against a bench. And the dog has no eyes. Actually. And the dog has no eyes. And the children, <gasps> that's your wife, isn't it? You weren't fooling. Oh, um, we work together. See dogs that can see that we <gasps> bite her. But you can't divorce an ugly wife for a beautiful one. Oh, you think I'm beautiful? They're very beautiful. Oh, I really love wait, wait, you. Wait, wait, don't let her see us. Oh, those two babies, she carries that poor wife with a silencer on it. She will shoot us if she saw us together. And would that be any worse than you leaving me, me leaving you, you having to go back to her? Me having to go back to my empty apartment? The last tenant that lived there left hundreds of murder mysteries, and I'm afraid to read any one of them. My wife's name is Ma. Look, I'm going to call her. <gasps> Maud! Hey, Maud! Ma! Hey, Maud! Hey, hey, Maud! Hey, Maud! Look, look, here. She, she, she sees us. She sees us. Hey, Maud! She looks like she just picked the babies up and threw them on the ground. Oh, no. 
but the dog is up. Hang on. You really do have a sister named Lucy, don't you? Once upon a time, there was a girl named Her. She lived far, far away. The only pleasure she had was to feed pigeons in the park. Wait, shall I say action to director? Okay, Everybody's a fucking director here! <laughs> I'm always worried. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so سرگرمی با دوستان و عزیزانشون بودن. اون میدونست که هرگز نه با کسی دوست میشه و نه اینکه عاشق کسی خواهد شد. با دونستن این مطلب